I'm John Willis from Trailer Boat Television and we've just been out in the Stabycraft 1750 Frontier. The company's saying is, you're in safe hands with Stabycraft. I've got to agree, what a great little boat, what a strong little boat, it's a stable boat. They've really derived from a dive boat initially uh, from the power divers in the bottom end of Invercargill, the bluff area, which as we know is one of the most rugged waterways in the world and similar to our Bass Strait here. So, you know, they've always kept that. A lot of centre consoles are uh, quite badly laid out. They're, number one, they're hard to move around in the boat. A lot of centre consoles, you've got no room down the sides to walk through. You know, you're, you're hanging on for grim death sometimes, which isn't a good thing when you're in the boat, particularly if it's rough. You can run around the whole boat comfortably and, and work around it very safely and still, you know, be able to fish off, sit off the gunnels and, and just be uh, safe and, and dry um, all, all the way around. This one, there's plenty of room, you're really well enclosed, there's plenty of grab holds, handrails, tons to hang on to. But importantly, when you're steering, it's a comfortable little boat to, uh, to steer. Everything's in the right place and there's plenty of room on the dashboard for big electronics as well. Stabycraft always have a fantastic dash layout that you can really sync your electronics in and have two or three different types, you know, sizes and uh, really make them, uh, you know, suit the individual. But yeah, look at the room for a 17 and a half foot boat to fit, you know, great electronics in. We have it powered here with a 75 Honda four stroke. You know, plenty of power, it's rated to a 90. It certainly doesn't need that. Um, it can actually be powered by a 60 Honda four-stroke. And basically having the Stabycraft pontoons and reverse chines really gets the boat up and planing very easily. So it can be a very efficient boat to run. We definitely pride ourselves on using less horsepower to get the maximum results and the best efficiency to make the boat work well. Just the design of the transom alone to me makes this one of the most functional little boats I've been in. You've got a great little platform, you've got a fin friendly ladder that people can get in and out of the boat really easily and when you've got it at home in the garage and you're loading it all up, you can get in and out through the walkway really easily. You know, you can have room there for dual batteries. Uh, being a four stroke, we don't need any, any oil bottles which is fantastic and even anchor winch in this size boat you know, is quite possible, so, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. Under the floor, 120 litre fuel tank, you're going to go forever. We've just been to Cape York and back, and fuel tank capacity is a major criteria when you're doing big miles at sea. This is a boat that I'd feel comfortable to take through Port Phillip Heads, to go and fish Port Stephens, and do some limited offshore capability type sports fishing. The layout's great, the construction's great. I reckon it looks great. They're rugged, they're strong, and you're in safe hands with Stabycraft. I'm John Willis for Trailer Boat Television.